Which car do you think it is? So I am selling. Ready? Whoa! Let's go! Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics, you guys. That's right, we're selling yet another car. In fact, probably already have a buyer for it. Don't want to say too much, but it is a Lamborghini. Oh, that landed on the red seatbelt and luckily not on my tan hoodie. <laughs> Dave's aggressive driving gets a little out of control sometimes. It's the G-Wagon, it's got a lot of power. You love this thing, eh? Yeah, I really actually do like this G-Wagon. So what would you advise my wife to get? This or an Urus? Urus. Why? Uh, with the Lamborghini Ambassador. The number one Lamborghini Ambassador is on the internet. Number one on the internet. The audience expects us to have all Lamborghinis. So we're kind of letting the audience down by doing this. It's all about this. That's exactly what the vote was. We had a vote on our community tab you know what the numbers were it was like 80 20 77 percent said urus and then yeah 23 percent well that's the difference that is math that's overwhelming math urus. today we're getting rid of a lamborghini we're gonna go show you guys in a minute which one it is we also are gonna talk a little bit about possibly replacement cars for the future of daily driven exotics lamborghini has been dropping some new cars they just came out with the brand new huracan race car it is insane it's got a new headlight design new front bumper design it's got now rear louvered fenders so now you can have front louvered fenders rear louvered fenders it's just absolutely crazy if you don't know what i'm talking about go to lamborghini sc that's squadra corsa on instagram and you can check it out for yourselves so let us know what you think now speaking of my wife obviously looking at the g63 this new body style but we're also looking at the urus matt brought his urus in now matt's currently driving a 6m5 lt spider i think i might be able to swindle matt into letting me buy his urus off of him for my wife because right now urus is are in high demand and low supply, which means everybody wants a premium for him. Bend his arm and see if we can't get it at a discount for the wife. Oh, here he is. What's up, you son of a Hey, now you're driving that? I thought you were driving a white 675 LT. No, I sold my Urus and my 695 LT. No, you, you did not. You, you son of a What? I sold it this morning. We called and said, put it inside the garage. Did you really sell it? Yeah, they're both gone. If it's in there and you're both I'm gonna smash you in the nuts so fast. Fight him in the dirt pit. Fight him in the dirt pit. I want to see you guys roll around in the dirt. In what? the dirt pit? What? I don't know where I'm going with what? this. I sell it the other day. I wasn't allowed to. Yeah, you don't sell much. <laughs> That's actually very true. <laughs> Adrian sells two times more than he does. Oh! Okay. Urus. The only way I've been able to get this guy even interested in getting rid of this Urus is the fact that it's summer and you're driving the 6M5 and you love it, right? Yeah, so my dog doesn't fit in it though. I know your dog doesn't fit in it, but you have a goddamn car lot. Take that thing. What is, is, that, a, is that a new navigator? That is ugly. But I mean, it's really nice. Your dog would fit in it. They're, They're actually quite nice inside, actually. I bet my Hummer, they my are Hummer's luxury. Hummer right there. Hummer, white Hummer with the truck. Sold going to Texas. Do really? Not much lasts here. And Ryan, I would sell my Urus. My f Hummer isn't back. Oh, Ryan at Predator. Oh, Ryan at Predator. Called out. Getting called out. You have a brand new one. He's having a fully built new body. Can we tell them? Oh, yeah. That's gonna be crazy. What is the likelihood, the chances out of 100%? We were at 75 when I first asked you, yeah. but you were still 25% doubtful. Yeah, where are we at? We're at 90, 95. I think it went down. No, yeah, it didn't. Luke and I were driving yesterday and I was like, I love this car. They made more than one of them though, man. You called out if you call it a car or a truck or anything other than an SUV. It's a crossover. Which, by crossover. the way, stands for sport utility vehicle. It is a sport utility, that is for sure. A lot of sport. We'll talk numbers in a minute. Can I go play in it for now? Yeah, maybe. Is Mike inside? I'm gonna go get the keys. I'm gonna talk to the boss. Talk to the billionaire, I'll be back. Billionaire, okay. okay. We'll talk what to the poker face that son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, well, how do you think you got this successful? Hello. Hello. August luxury motor cars. Where'd the shark go? I don't see the shark anymore. It's on Matt's wall. It's what? What? Where's Gabe? Gabe is... No. Gabe? Gabe? Yes. <laughs> Are you coming or what? We got a video to make, bro. <laughs> We're taking the car out. <laughs> All right, guys, one of the Lamborghinis from the Daily Driven Exotics fleet is on the chopping block and happens to lay right here among us in the August Luxury showroom. So, which car do you think it is? There was speculation that it was Dave's Squadra Corsa because Dave's Squadra Corsa is parked down here. But 
Is it true? Was Dave really just snaking you guys? We also have, hmm, why did I bring this car here? Was it also snaking you guys? And the fact that I said I didn't want to drive this car because it was raining, actually was raining. In order for us to get to which Lamborghini is going to go, let's first get to the other Lamborghini. This Lamborghini. That's right, the Lamborghini Urus. What's cool about the Urus is that Omaze happens to be sponsoring today's video. That's right. All right, guys, I'm super excited to announce we partner with Omaze once again. Do you remember the Audi R6 Avant and 20,000? dollars we gave you guys a chance to win last time. Well, one from Texas won. This time, we're giving you the opportunity to enter for your chance to win a Lamborghini Urus, $20,000 in cash, taxes, and shipping in the US are included. And the best part is every donation benefits a great cause. All you have to do is go to amaze.com slash DDE and enter for your chance to win. The Lamborghini Urus features a 641 horsepower twin turbo four liter V8. Accelerate from zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. You'll be the first one to Starbucks. With the Urus, so you don't have to choose between comfort and supercar capability. You've just won a 2021 Lamborghini Urus, the world's first ever super SUV. Well, at both 641 horsepower, staying green speed, and precision handling, you could easily take to the track as well as your favorite Starbucks drive through And with its sharp body lines and signature styling, you'll stand out anywhere you go. Life looks better in a Lamborghini, especially when it comes to $20,000 cash. All right, you guys, I'm super excited for not only Wifey to have an opportunity to have one of these, these Uruses, for you to have an opportunity to have one of these Uruses. If you remember in your OG on the channel, I had the opportunity to go with the legendary Valentino Balboni in a great Urus just like this, off-roading in the mountains of California. That was one of the funnest adventures I've ever had behind the wheel of any Lamborghini I've had. This vehicle is very capable of off-road. It's not just the grocery getter. The person that wins this, I want you to tag me in a post of you off-roading your Urus. I want to see it. Like the Hummer style, mud in the air and dirty. This is the vehicle should that we, is good uh, for well, everything. Start it? I think we should start it. start it. I know your favorite thing is the noise. Here we go, guys. Noise. This is a twin turbo V8 Lamborghini and it will not disappoint. Hit it, Dave. <laughs> if you get one of these. Oh man, off-roading for sure. Exploring, get my kids in the back, go find some mud. I love doing that. I can't enter to win, only you can. Darn it. My favorite thing besides the capabilities of this vehicle are the sharp looks. There's nothing on the road that'll even come close to the sharp edgy lines of the Lamborghini Urus. So you're gonna stand out amongst all the other SUVs on the road, even when that other pesky competitor comes out with their SUV. I've seen some of the renders and I've seen some of the prototypes of that. Nah, nah, you want the Lambo. You are the ultimate soccer mom or soccer dad with <laughs> Show Wait, when you have one of these. All right. Oh, Matt's actually daily using this thing. He Look is daily it. using it. Well, why don't we just throw this out because we're going to take hey, this one. Do you notice this? What? It has a Lamborghini in the full in the back as well. So for your chance to win a Lamborghini Urus and $20,000 in cash, go to amaze.com slash DDE. The best part is every donation benefits a great cause. Pencils of Promise. Pencils of Promise believes every child should have access to quality education. POP has supported over 540 school builds, impacting more than 100 and 10,000 students across Ghana, Guatemala, and Laos. So hurry up, you guys. That's amaze.com slash DDE. Go there, donate, and good luck. See you, Damon. We could drive this and I can see if my wife really likes it over the course of the next four months over summer. And then if she really is in love with this over a G-Wagon, then we could go ahead and purchase one at that time. This would be the perfect DDE car for the fleet. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, these things are crazy to drive too. They are a blast. It's a twin turbo V8, so you can yeah. tune it and make big, big numbers with this it. It already has the FI exhaust. Yeah, it's loud. With very the valves. With with so valves. it doesn't it's have to be loud. loud if you don't want it yeah. to be. You can click a button. This, I think, would be a really good choice for wifey. Instead of joking around any longer, we should probably try to work some numbers out on this. And then do a delivery video and surprise her. Because she honestly she has no idea what we're going to do. Like sometimes we test drive stuff and we're like, hey, would you like this? And then the next day we decide it's not really what we want to go with. But I really think this is the best option. I agree with the 77% of you that said this. Come on, Dave. Character. Come on. I'm Daniel Day-Lewis in this right now. This what? is my son, JW. We're here. I'm an oil man. I've abandoned my boy. <laughs> you seen that movie? Up. A Little Bit Blood? I've not seen it, actually. You should watch it. You guys want to know more than anything what Lamborghini is on the shopping block. We talked about the Aperta. 
Now, I know not everybody can appreciate or understand the desire behind having a Lamborghini or any car for that matter with no freaking windshield, but I promise you, it is one of the most amazing driving experiences that you could ever have. Imagine driving a go-kart but with 840 horsepower and a Lamborghini badge, which means it's got the Lamborghini styling, it's super aggressive, and you just have to see it in person. It's like not being in a car. There's no way to describe like a roller coaster or falling from an airplane with no parachute. Like it is such a different experience. It's and, crazy. And when you're standing here and your eyes can actually kind of roll over the styling of this car, it is way cooler in person with the forged carbon fiber Vorsteiner pieces and the louvered fenders and the cars lowered, perfect wheel gap, X-Comp tires and the Vorsteiner wheel, supercharger in the back by VF Engineering. It's obvious, I'm bragging. This is not the car that we are gonna be selling. You know what? Dave's actually the one that's on a tear selling cars because Dave wants a bigger car. Now everybody kept saying buy an SVJ and trust us guys, we've been looking. We're looking for the perfect spec as well as the perfect price because those cars, they're coming down in value. And the last thing we wanna do is make bad business decisions sure. and buy a car that loses $100,000 in the next 12 months. That's very counterproductive to us making videos to making money. Yep. What car are you selling? So come with me for a second. So I am selling you ready? Yeah. The Squadra Corsa. What do you think about that, Gabe? I know what the replacement is, so yes, it's a good choice. Oh! I did say a lot of times I never sell this car. I do love this car, yeah. but I've had this car for two years. Yeah. I put 40,000 kilometers on it. I've experienced it all over the US, East Coast, West Coast. It's been an amazing experience, but it's time to move on. We're anti-collector car collectors. It's called the Anti-Collector Collector Club, right, Dave. I started it. This is it. It's on the chopping block. It is here for sale at August Motor Motorcars. Now, how much are you selling it for? Tell them. Are you telling them? Yeah. It's a good deal. It is a so good deal. So this car right now is for sale for 250000 Canadian dollars, which right now is probably about 210 US, yep. 205 US, 40,000 kilometers on it, brand new clutch like 6,000 kilometers ago, and it has the VF engineering supercharger. Changes it. Which makes this car an absolute beast. It's not for the faint of heart. This car won't save you. There's no stability control in this car. It's the old school Lamborghini TC. So whoever gets this car needs to understand it is an absolute beast. This is also a one of one because this is the only car that has dry carbon fiber from the exterior to the the interior that we had custom done and it makes it look absolutely stunning and beautiful. It also makes it feel a little more up to date because the dry carbon has become a more recent trend versus the wet carbon has just been around since day one. So right here, you guys can see, first of all, this isn't a normal engine cover. Yeah, this is the normal. race cover with the pins. And it's carbon fiber. And, and it's has a solid carbon and it's all from Lamborghini. This is all factory, super light. And by the way, don't worry, whole car is PPF. Yep. And then here is the VF Engineering Supercharger, yep. which produces an additional 200 horsepower. So we're about 780 horsepower in this car. It weighs 2,800 pounds. Wow, that's lighter than my car. Single Dude, clutch, fat. cool part too is like even in fifth gear on the freeway, if you want to roll into it, you don't have to downshift. The torque is instant. Squadra Corsa, in case you're not familiar with it, there's 50 in the world. This is one of three for Canada. So there's only actually three Canadian spec with the kilometers on the dash. Probably the rarest of the Squadra Corsas. In North America, only came in yellow, yellow, yellow minus. minus. Fun fact, so for the engine cover and spoiler to call Lamborghini tomorrow, it's 36,000 US to replace. And they don't have them. The front rear bumpers, they don't have either. This is all final edition. This was it. Lamborghini was like, let's make the perfect Gallardo. And I heard from somebody at Lamborghini that they had a little few secret things in the software they never told people. So it actually has more power than originally rated. And the styling of this car, I mean, honestly, the fixed wing, the little duck bill, if you'd never get, like I said, if you're not in person and you don't get to see all these little details on a car, Car, it makes a huge difference. It's way more impressive in person. We don't even really need to sell this car. Right now we're talking about what we love. That's from the heart. That's what we love about these cars at Daily Driven Exotics. This car already has a buyer. The second Dave was even remotely talking about it, we have someone who is committed to buying this. They put a deposit on it already. The cars I've had in the past we've sold go to people that keep the legacy living on. And that's where the Squadra, after two years and all those kilometers, like I've had my final want to somebody else take it and do the next thing. And there's a reason behind this. We have plans, just trust us. So what is your favorite memory with the Squadra Corsa. I remember the first time I ever saw it at the old August store parking lot. And I remember it was the first time I saw it in person. I bought it without seeing it because it came from a private collector. And I literally got a bit teary eyed when I first saw it because it was so like a big accomplishment. Best memories, man, is you and me doing rallies in this car, going all over the US. Like this has been to 14 states, four provinces. You want to talk about reliability? When the Mercy broke down on the rally and we had to put it on a flatbed truck in the middle of the US and ship it all the way back to California, I rode shotgun, which I don't normally 
normally do with Dave because I normally have my own car. I rode shotgun and co-piloted Dave for the first time for the rest of that rally. First rally I drove my own car in as well. It was on that rally in 2019 in this car. There's an emotional connection for sure. Again, we're not collectors and we have got bigger dreams. Anti-collector, collector club. Um, which means we do have more cars if coming. If I was a collector, I would just put this in my garage and stare at it, but it doesn't do the car justice. Someone needs to drive this. Someone needs to drive this car. Carry this. on the legacy, you guys. The Squadra Corsa, one amazing car. And the benefit of buying a car like this that has kilometers on it is you can drive it. Now there's another one for sale right now for a lot more money that has like a thousand miles. So you're really not gonna drive that car because you'll lose your investment. Whoever buys this car, has the kilometers on it, keep on driving it, you won't lose money on it. It'll probably it just cool. stay maintained. It'll stay the same, it'll always stay the same value. Maybe, maybe go 10 up years little. will go up. Yeah, because now we're losing the ability to have gas engines. At some point, all these cars are gonna go this way, especially the one of 50s. Dave? It's been a pleasure. That's it, bro. Back in. We'll do a delivery video with the uh, new owner, hopefully next week. Yeah, next week. Hard to let go, right? Well, two years. This isn't the car I had for like two months. Like I had it for years and I don't keep cars that long. Look at my history. Very rare to drive car more than a year, my whole life. It's a cool car. That's very cool. Oh, we'll get you something cooler. So what do you guys think will be Dave's big replacement over the Squadra? I'll tell you this, not likely to be another V10, but it could start with a V. That's correct. Six. <laughs> We're going with the V6. Four. That actually is the trend right now. It's not gonna be a V6, double it. We're thinking V12. You know how we kept going on and on about getting an Aventador of some kind? I think it's time we try to really hunt down now that this car is gone and the R35 is gone and Mia's car is on its way out. I think that an Aventador would be the great replacement on daily driven exotics. Yeah. Even it, if it's Dave not- Dave is an Aventador looking dude. What's that? <laughs> Dave, you Aventador. Oh. There's this very special Aventador I have in mind, so we'll, we'll come back to this. Don't We'll we'll come just back trust to us, it. you guys. Trust us. I know it's on the squadron. A lot of you might not like this, but just believe in us. What color is it? Well, it's got to stay yellow, doesn't it? Sure All does. Right. Sold, hey? This is one mean machine. It's been here for a long time at August. So, V12, you guys. Now, this isn't ours. This is a client's car. A buddy of ours, he said he'd let Dave get in it and fire it up. So Dave could get a sweet taste of the Aventador V12 SV. That's sound. really, really, really nice. This is what I'm thinking because yeah. this is at the right price point. So, if a lot of you don't know, the SVJ is still quite high. It's slowly coming down. But these have kind of like leveled out at this point. We could find the right Aventador SV. Mike, get on the phones. Get on the phones, Mike. By the way, fun fact, Mike was up till 5.30 in the morning partying. So Mike's a little hungover today. Look at Mike. Look at Mike. Mike's a little, how you doing, you son of a We're a little hungover. How you doing? He's tired. You doing? What? Good. Look at you. Look at these eyes. I know, they look like two holes in snow. <laughs> look at you. No one's going to fall over. You ready for this? The mm -hmm. blast? SV sounds amazing. In honor of Mike's hangover, let's enhance oh, the yeah. audio. Come back here with what? me. Come on. Come back here. <laughs> based on the spec of the car. Like right. this. This is the one, this is the back. This is money, because it's all black with the carbon roof. Can't even tell that it's not a coupe. Drove a Giallo SV back in Texas. Yeah, uh, Butch's back in Texas. They actually had a squadron Corsa as well, ironically. Jamie, Andrew. cut to the SV. Back in Texas.
Texas. I think that's like a sign. We always look back and go, hey, we drove that car. Or, hey, I was in a Murcia Lago, you know, 10 years ago, and now I have one. What an amazing story to add. Can you hear it a little bit? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I think I saw flames already. Blow up the glass. Dude, it's Dude, it's shooting blue flames at Mike's office. That's stock. I love my it. My my I glass. love it. Do it now, do it now. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> Last one. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. We need it. Bye, Squadra. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Coming up. Okay. Speaking of exhaust, what do we got in store for the team? Oh, there's a surprise over at the garage right now for the GT3 RS. We have okay. AKL headers from JCR. Let's go check them out. Let's we'll go unbox up. them. The GT3 RS today is about to get a lot louder. But like, will it compete with an SV? Uh, I don't know. We'll see you in a bit. No way. Bye, you son. G unit. Oh, those doors. They made it still like solid as hell. That is so cool. Dude, I love these guys. This thing is sick. Sick! Legendary! What other words we say? Legit! Literally! What else? Epic! One of one! A good friend! I never say that. I wanna hear the G-Wagon in the sport mode. It sounds like a tractor, but I love it. That's crazy. The whole front of the truck lifts up there like two feet when you hammer it. Yeah, when I was behind you and you're dumping it, the whole thing goes on an angle. <laughs> you can see the whole thing yeah. go up. Hold on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, the G63 is <laughs> worth every dollar. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> Dork steer. It's impressive. It's fun out. The front tire spinning. He's coming in hot. August garage. Whoa, jeez, he almost jumped the curb. The last time he went through a fence. Oh, was just shaking his head at us. Was he? <laughs> he was data logging. <laughs> new parts, new parts, new parts, new parts. New parts. He might have been on a phone call. Everyone, stop what you're doing. DDE is here. <laughs> Everybody, stop what you're doing. This is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. They're putting a Lamborghini oh, into a Bronco. Yeah. This is such a crazy Ferrari. The story behind this is this car was originally sold in France and was driven all over the world. It's pronounced France. Comes with an entire folder this thick of all the epic stories, photos, locations, the delivery at actually in Ferrari. That's cool. I don't know, it was crazy, they showed us. It's, it's, there's a whole box it's full. It's a customer car now, is it for sale? It is a customer car, it's sold. Where's the JCR exhaust? There's a box here for me. You data logging? I see a box over there, is that it? Holy oh! crap. Damn, I'm Ray pumped. from the UK. Handle the care, that's a weird company name. Thank you, JCR. So these are the headers and then the corner pipes, you call it? Muffler bypasses. Uh, Muffler. Uh, it's all sick as no, it to me. No, bypassing it has, anything. It has cast this. It's, it's gonna be super stuff. quiet. You're gonna totally super pass Super quiet. The Christmas. Here at DD, I love it. If anyone's familiar with the Porsche 911 RSR race car, this is what it's supposed to sound like on a street car when you mimic that. You guys ready to see this? Yeah. I'm pumped. That's falling. Can you tell me? Whoa, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? No. 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 It was in the padding. It was in the padding. I heard the metal hit the ground. Shh. Look at those. Damn. Damn. That's cool. That is very cool, dude. Right in the tailpipe. Oh, oh you got valves. We got valves. We got valves. Holy crap, is it light? Wow, that's nice. Now, in Jeez. this box is a surprise. What surprise? They told me there's a surprise for me. Look at the quality. I know, it's so nice. It blows the my welds. mind how people actually make this. I Very am not cool. a skilled enough blacksmith to make anything like that. <laughs> Let the muscles of the, of the channel do it. Damon will bring up fingernail if you look tough. What are those? They're, oh my oh. God, that is brilliant. How loud are your exhausts? They're that loud. That's amazing. Shut the front door. There's two pairs for the passenger as well. Now that's what you call 
Smart marketing. That's really cool. I'm a little nervous now. I'm curious if these aren't for you. They're when the officer comes up and says, this car is too loud and you just hand them these. You go, it's not. No, they're not officer. Here. At 45 minutes, where do you want to eat? Where do you, where do you want to eat? What? Really? Take those off. What? Those aren't for you. Uh, I mean, thanks JCR, those are hilarious. They work really good. I think if you're going to the airport, we only have time to go down to the road. Down, hot dog no, hold stand. on, down. Hot dog stand? Why is it you love eating hot dogs with no, no bun? Lots of mayo. Just the shape. We're gonna go to the hotel restaurant and then we're dropping Dave off at the airport. <laughs> Fly home private. I'm flying private, that's nice. Thanks for doing that, bro. You're welcome. It's Gabe's Facebook money. I got you. Whoop, whoop, blink, blink, blink. Hand over the keys, you son of a Well, it's been a smash, my I friend. I wish I could say it was a pleasure, Damon. <laughs> Take care. Love you. Thanks, man. Uh, enjoy your flight. You yeah. Romance. There you go. Let me just take care of that. <laughs> Not even there. All right, guys, smash the subscribe button. ShopDD.com is where you can find the merch as well as YSOB. It's all combined in one store now. I'll see you, sons of bitch, next video. Gabe, let's go. Gabe can't hear me. Peace. The JCR t shirt in here. No, <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Just the no, tips? It's expensive. It's expensive. Why would they give you anything expensive, Dave? Because I am the voice of this channel. This is so your what? What? I didn't say it. <laughs>